I'm Chris Taniguchi. I'm a PhD student at San Diego State University in the Geography Department. I'm studying erosion and sediment transport from Tijuana, Mexico into the Tijuana Estuary. Behind me is Goat Canyon watershed, and it's one of the most erodible sediment sources coming into the Tijuana Estuary. After big rain events, all that sediment that's being generated on the roads and in the stream channels and on the bare hillsides comes across underneath the border through big culverts and then it flows all the way down into uh, these sediment traps and the sediment that doesn't get caught by the traps flows into the estuary. The sediment traps have a capacity of about 70,000 tons but that's in a normal year and this year we expect El Nino conditions and we suspect that the traps are going to fill up. Some of the dangers of too much sediment coming into the Tijuana estuary is in particular these fine sediments that don't actually get captured in these large basins. They can come out of the catch basins and deposit and bury the natural vegetation. When the natural vegetation gets buried, that can convert these lowlands into uplands, essentially choking out the vegetation and altering the, the natural ecosystem of the estuary. One of the premises of our research is that you can't just band-aid over this kind of sediment generation problem. You have to get it at, at the source. So that means helping Mexico improve their infrastructure in ways that prevent the sediment from getting here in the first place. That's where my research comes in, is we're modeling the impacts of different land use changes and mitigation practices on sediment and storm flow. So how is this gonna help the problem? Um, what are potential issues that can arise from doing these management practices? Being right on the U.S.-Mexico border affords our students and faculty a really unique laboratory to study how humans interact with the environment. So this system with a rapidly eroding watershed and some pollution generation happening in Mexico flowing across the border is an example of how water and the stuff that comes with it knows no borders at all. We are interconnected across the border because of the environment. And in extreme years like we're expecting with El Nino, that connection is gonna be particularly strong and it'll be really interesting to see what happens.